Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to look at the always defect equilibrium of the infinite prisoner's dilemma and see why it's a credible threat of punishment. And this one's actually pretty simple. We have seen a million times in the past that the equilibrium to a one-shot prisoner's dilemma is mutual defection. That is because the strategy combination defect-defect is a mutual best response, so each individual cannot profitably deviate from it. So imagine we're playing this an infinite number of times and you're defecting on me in every period. Then my best response is going to be to always defect as well. If I were to cooperate for one or more periods, I would go from 1 to 0 uh, for those periods, discounted appropriately for whatever period that we're in. And it's fairly obvious that 1 is greater than 0, so I would not want to make this deviation. It's more profitable for me to just stay with defect. So that gets me to play always defect as well. And it's just because always defect is a always plus defect. But for that same reason, you're going to be reinforced into playing always defect now too. Because now I'm playing always defect, your best response to that is to play always defect. And we've sort of devolved into a self-fulfilling prophecy where we're both always defecting and we get stuck in this bottom right box every iteration of the game where we're each only getting one point of utility. And if we sum everything up, well, that's going to be uh, simply 1 over 1 minus discount, and we're going to work with this payoff in the future, so that's why I was calculating it now. And like I said, that should be fairly obvious. But the reason I mention it is that it serves as a null hypothesis of sorts. Going into the game, we might expect mutual defection unless there is something compelling us to behave differently. It also means that we have a good threat. At any point in the game, we could always switch to always defect and wind up in the 1-1 one, one box every period. And it's a credible threat as well, precisely because this is an Ash equilibrium. So if you remember when we started working on repeated prisoners' dilemmas, the entire idea was to see if repeated interaction could get us to play a cooperate-cooperate game, get into the top left corner, which is the most efficient outcome, given the threat of future defection if anyone were to violate uh, the other's trust. And what we found is we actually do now have a credible threat of punishment. We can always defect in the future. And so, in the next video, we will be discussing the viability of the grim trigger strategy, which will make use of this threat. Join me then.